Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. So today I am in a little bit of a different location, but I'm currently in a hotel. And this morning I got my huge ASOS order in the post and I just had to bring it with me so that I could film this as soon as possible. So here's the bag. It's a huge one. So there's quite a lot to go through. I haven't opened it yet, so it's gonna be an unboxing, a haul, and a try on as well. So let's get started. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna get whatever is there. There is quite a lot. So I'm gonna start off with this and let me have a look. So the first thing we have is just a standard kind of sweater. Oh my God, my lighting has gone so bad. It's just like a standard sweater. It's from a brand called Nokoso, Nokoso, I'm not too sure how it's pronounced, but it just looks really nice. It's kind of that sweater style, so the inside is really nice and cozy. I always say these remind me of school jumpers, because when I used to have school uniform, it was that sort of material. And I really like this color, actually. It doesn't look like it's gonna be amazing, but it might look different once it's on. It's a size small, and actually it's quite big and quite oversized, so definitely one I need to try on. This jumper fits perfectly with these jeans, and these jeans are kind of high-waisted. To be honest, they are the jeans I wear all the time, so I don't think I'll have too big of a problem um, wearing this jumper, but I'm just not too sure about the whole general vibe of it. I feel like it's not very me, and um, yeah, it's kind of unfinished, and it's just like a bit more cash than I usually go for, so I'm not too sure what I think about this one. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether I should keep this or maybe return. On to another one, and again, we have a cozy jumper. I really, really love this one. It's kind of a mocha... Um, color which I really like. It's in the size 8 and again it's quite oversized. I find with knitwear it does tend to be very oversized which I am personally a fan of and actually I think this is going to be a really really nice one. In my opinion this is just the perfect kind of knit for uh, autumn winter. I think it works really well. It's the perfect kind of length. I also really like this sleeve detailing. I think it's quite different, quite unusual but quite nice. It's like the perfect type of slouchy but still quite nice. I know this is something that I'm going to live in over autumn. I also went ahead and picked up another pair of Farley jeans. Farley jeans are my all-time favourite jeans. Like, I literally cannot rave about these enough. I know some people don't actually get on with them that well, but I just love them. So I bought a black pair, and these are jet black. So not washed black, they are genuinely jet black. No rips in them or anything like that. They're the typical size I go for, which is a waist 25, leg 30. Um, I find these fit me really well, they fit my waist, and then they just go down at a perfect kind of length on my ankles. So I picked up another pair. So these are the Farley jeans. They are my usual size, but they do feel much tighter than usual. I'm hoping they will kind of stretch out a bit once I start to wear them more, because at the moment they are quite tight. But um, they fit quite nicely, they show my ankle as usual. Lengthwise, I think this is the perfect length for me. It works really well. Um, will work nice with ankle boots and with anything else really. So I picked up this jumper which instantly reminded me of Tommy Hilfiger but of course it's a fraction of the price. This is ASOS own brand, I picked it up in a size 8 and I just really like this. I think it's quite an unusual colour for me, I wouldn't necessarily pick red but red is quite a big trend this season so I actually picked up a couple of red things and um, yeah I just really like this, I think it'll be a really nice one to tuck into my Farley's which is the kind of style I like to go for come autumn so very excited to style this. This is the kind of Tommy Hilfiger inspired top. I really like this. I think the shade of red is quite a like dull down muted kind of red which I really like. Um, as I said the stripe is really cool and um, I think it works really well. It's a nice kind of length on both the arms in general and I really like this um, black uh, round neck collar part. I think it looks quite cool. And yeah, I'm really pleased with this jumper. This is how I'd kind of wear it, so I think it works really well. I did say I love my Farley jeans, so I have another pair, this time a really, really light wash pair. I'm not too sure how I feel about light wash denim. Sometimes I think it looks a little bit unflattering on me, but I bought a pair anyway to try on. Again, I bought these in a waist 25, leg 30. And the thing I love the most about these are the frayed hems. I do love a good pair of jeans with a really cool kind of um, frayed hem detailing and I thought this one was really nice and um, they were new in so these are some of their newer styles and I just wanted to give it a try. Okay so I'm not 100% sure whether these jeans have kind of changed or something but these are so tight it was such a struggle to put them on you wouldn't believe but yeah these are way too tight I'm gonna have to return them and maybe exchange for a size bigger I mean I'm not too sure whether I think these suit me or not. I really like the frayed hem at the bottom. I think that's the cutest thing. But I'm just 
Look, I'm still like out of breath from trying these on. You like, if you guys saw how I had to put this on, it was crazy. I do like them, but they are like far too tight. As I was saying, red is such a big color this season, so I picked up a red jumper. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this. Like maybe it is a little bit too red, but I do love it. It's got that kind of high neck detailing, which isn't quite a roll neck. It's more of like a loose fitting one which I really like. It's just your standard long sleeve. It's actually quite a um, bat, bat wing style, so it does come down, um, like it won't start at your shoulder, it will start, start like down here probably. But I really do actually like the color on first impression, um, but I'm curious to see whether it suits my skin tone or not. Okay, so this is the red jumper. As I said, red is quite an on-trend color at the moment. Um, I'm not too sure about it to be completely honest with you. I do think it's quite bright, I do think it's quite in your face, which is different for me. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. From one of my favourite t-shirt brands, Daisy Street, I picked up this, which on first impression does look a little bit too big, but it will just be nice of an oversized one, I guess, but I think I would have liked it to be a little bit tighter, but I haven't tried it on yet, so I don't know, it might fit perfectly. And it's just got that cute little heart, which I love. And this one says whatever, and I just think it's so cool. I love me a good set of stripes. I think they're really cool. And I love anything with some kind of detailing on the pocket. I just think it's a really cute way to kind of zhuzh up your t-shirt. This is the t-shirt I was telling you guys about. I like it. It's the perfect kind of fit. It's really slouchy, really nice. It's got the heart on the side, which I personally love. I think it's a really cute detailing to add to any t-shirt or jumper. I just think it looks cute, so... Yeah, that's that. And then I also picked up a cute little cami dress. I quite like cami dresses. I think they've been really quite a statement in summer. And I really like this one. It's just a black one, which I thought would be really nice for autumn. And the thing that kind of sold this for me was the hem. It's super cute. It's quite lacy. And I think this will look perfect styled underneath like a big jumper where you can just see the lace detailing popping out at the bottom. I think that would look super, super cute. So that's why I picked up that one. So this is the dress I told you guys about. This is very much like cami and um, pajama inspired, but I do quite like it. I like that it's black actually. And I thought I wasn't gonna be too keen on black, but I actually am. I do really like it. I think the lace detailing on the top is cute. And of course at the bottom as well, which is basically the reason why I bought it. Um, I think it will look really nice with a big jumper over the top, kind of an oversized jumper. I think it will just be a really nice detailing. Also, I realized I haven't been saying prices and sizes, but I will leave everything linked in the description down below. So do make sure you check it out. Just click, uh, show more I think it is and then it's got all the details down there. Pajama shirts are a trend I have been loving so I picked up a new one. This one is from Vero Moda. I really really like it. Um, this definitely resembles a pajama like way more than any other one of these that I've got but I actually really really like it. It looks like a really nice material um, definitely like pajama style material and I love this. I love that it's got kind of the florals. It's that win the whole winter florals kind of trend which I think is going to be perfect for autumn and yeah I just really really like this actually. So this is that pajama top I was telling you guys about. Not too keen on it. It's far too low um, so it just basically just isn't going to work for me on that basis. It's much lower than I would usually go for although I do like the print and I do like the general feel of it but I don't have a very big bust so I feel like it just doesn't really compliment me in any way. I also picked up a khaki skirt. I actually love wearing khaki on khaki. It's one of my favorite kind of ensembles. But the skirt I had was a little bit too um, short and a little bit too big. And I spotted this one. It's from the tall section at Glamorous, which is perfect for me because I am quite tall. It's a button down and I just think it's a perfect shade of khaki. So um, yeah, I picked this up, just a nice one to have in the wardrobe. Okay, so this is the skirt. Um, some of it still has the paper, so I have a story if that's annoying, but fits fine. This is a size small, and I'm not too sure if this was the smallest size available or if I just went for a small, but it fits me perfectly at the waist. Um, I think you can see where it hits on my leg, so it's really quite appropriate, much more longer than I usually go for, which is always a good thing. And yeah, I just really like it. I think it will work really well with a khaki shirt that I've already got. And yeah, I'm just really, really keen on it. I also picked up another belt. If you've seen my top five autumn essentials or something along those lines, I can't remember what I've called it. But if you saw that video, you'll know that I actually have the nude or the beigey cream version of this. And I picked it up in black. It's basically 
literally identical, the same. It's still suede, um, it's got the rose gold detailing, rose gold buckle, but it's black and I really, really like it. On first impressions it looks amazing. I know it's going to fit because the other one fits and I'm just very excited about this to be honest. So this is the belt. Obviously you can't see it like very, very well because it is black on black. That's my fault. Should have put it on a different pair of jeans, but I mean I've already got these in another colour. So if you are interested you can see photos of me wearing them, but yeah. I just think it's nice, it's a thick waisted belt but it fits fine on jean hooks which is something I usually worry about with thick kind of belts but this one fits fine, I really like it. Even with these jeans I think it looks quite cool because you can't really see it but you can just see the gold detailing which I think is really really nice. And then I also picked up another jacket but on first impression I actually really don't like it. Um, it looks like this. And, um, sorry the lighting is a little bit off so it's kind of cutting halfway through but it's like, it's just not nice to be honest. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna try this on. Uh, I thought it would feel differently and kind of look differently. It looks just really, really weird. So this is that jacket that I'm just not too keen on. I really don't like the way it looks. Um, it looks much nicer on the website in my opinion, but on um, like just the feel of it and the way it looks, I'm not keen. So I'm pretty sure this one is going to go back. And then I picked up a coat. I'm so happy. It's coat season. So excited to be wearing some of my favourite pieces. And this has been in my save list for quite some time. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous coat. I can't do it justice now because you just can't see it full length. But it's incredible. It's from New Look. Um, and it, it's just amazing. It's kind of burgundy or like a deep purple. It's got some really cool slits on the side which I'll show you when I try them on. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy about that actually. So this is the coat. I really, really like this actually. Hopefully you can see it full length, but I don't know if you can tell here, it's got a little bit of a slit, which was something that really caught my eye. I just think it's quite unusual for a coat. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like this. I think it fits really nicely. Um, I really love this detailing at the back as well. It doesn't actually do anything, but I think it looks quite nice. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. I think even with what I'm wearing now, it looks quite cool. With a pair of ankle boots, I think this is perfect. So that is everything from my haul. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know which were your favourite pieces. If there are any pieces you think I should maybe return or exchange, um, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thumbs up for more ASOS hauls as well. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye!